today i'll be discussing about the programs uh, i'll send today ganesh reddy i'll send today don't worry okay now today we'll try to see the problems okay problems okay related with problems related with okay today we'll see some of the problems related with yes that is what i'm saying no shahid that is what i said i have applied for ibm and i got a mail to solve in hacker rank see here okay so this is how uh, this is okay this is see here one one of the student just to send a message here see i have applied for ibm and i got a mail to solve in hacker rank then how you solve it okay you should know the problem solving skills are problem solving techniques yes or no okay yes let me tell you let me tell you some of the problems which are asked related with which are asked related with related with numbers related with numbers number sign what is it digits number sign the digits you find a lot of problems related with number sign the digits okay you find a lot of problems related with yes okay so you find a lot of problems related with the number sign the digits so let me tell you some of the problems related with number sign digits okay number sign digits okay so you find a lot of problems related with the numbers and digits like suppose they may ask you write okay write a program suppose assume that write a program to count okay count count digits count digits or count of digits count of digits in input count of digits in input number or the same thing they may ask you okay write a program okay write a program okay to find to find the length of to find the length of number okay write a program to count count of digits in input number or write a program to find the length of number okay suppose if the number is given like this if the number is given like this so what is the number here some 45689 i need to count how many digits are there in input number i should count how many digits are there in input number so how many digits are there in input number 5 how many digits are there in input number 5 okay 5 then how can i count how can i count how many digits are there in input number the logic is very simple the logic is very simple logic logic is very simple okay what is the first thing is you have to input what do you have to do you have to input okay no 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 ah input first thing is you have to input what here number you have to input number okay now you have to read each digit from a number you have to read each digit from a number or you need to delete each digit from a number now tell me how to delete a digit from a number tell me how to remove a digit from a number tell me how to remove a digit from a number okay suppose i said number uh, suppose number so number is what here 456 what is the number here 456 how to remove a digit from a number uh, you can remove a digit from a number by saying number okay number equal to number okay slash is slash what here 10 you'll say number equal to number slash is slash 10 when you say number equal to number slash is slash 10 ah 456 456 is slash is slash 10 what is slash is slash integer division then what is the result i'll get 45 what is the result i'll get 45 okay suppose if you are a java developer you'll say 456 uh, 
slash slash 10, the result you should convert into which type? Integer. Okay. Then you will get which one? 45. Then you will get the 45. Okay. So what you are trying to do? You are trying to divide. You are trying to divide a number with 10. You are trying to divide a number with what here? 10. So when you divide a number with 10, what will I get? 45. You divide again 45 with 10. What you will get here? 4. Divide this 4 again with the 10. What is the value you get? 0. It means what you are trying to do here? You are trying to divide. You are trying to divide a number until number becomes what? 0. You are trying to divide a number until number becomes what? 0. You are dividing number until number becomes what? 0. You are using, you are not using percentage. You are using which one? Slash slash. Slash slash slash. In Python you have a slash. In Python you have a slash and slash slash. Slash is called which division? Float division. Okay. And slash slash is called which division? Floor division. Okay. This is a float division and this is a floor division. Here you get the result in float. Here you get the result in what? Integer. Here you get the result in integer. And here you get the result in what? Float. If I am saying 456 slash 10, what is the result I will get? 45.6. If I am writing 456 slash slash 10, what is the result I will get? 45 point. Sorry. I will get the result as 45. Because this is which division? Integer division. And this is which division? Float division. Okay. So what you are doing? You are dividing a number until number becomes what? Zero. The logic is very simple. Logic is very simple. Input one number. Input one number. Okay. Divide. Okay. Divide. Divide number. Divide number until number becomes. Until number becomes. Until number becomes zero. Until number becomes zero. And count. Okay. Count. Okay, count how many times. Okay, count how many times number is. Number is what here? Divisible. How many times the number is divisible? That's it. And finally, you have to print. What do you have to print here? Count. Finally, you have to print the count. Okay, let me, let me tell you this. Uh, let me tell you this. Okay, open ideally. You have to input the number. You have to input the number. No, no, no. Don't enter string. I didn't ask to enter string. Did I ask to enter string or number? Did I say to enter number or string? Nagalakshmi. That is what will happen. See, you people will not understand the problem first. Okay. You people will not understand the problem first. Okay, now. Did I ask to number or string? Nagalakshmi. Did I ask to enter number or string? Huh? Respond here. Is it number or string? Number. Number. Huh? If it is a string, you can find the length. If it is a string, you can find the length. But is it a question is input number or input string? String. That's the reason you people see. That's the reason when you write an exam, right? The, the test cases will get failed. The test cases get failed because he asked to enter number. You enter string and you find the length. Okay. So for your point of view, it is correct. But in in testing point of view, is it correct or wrong? Wrong. Okay, wrong. Uh, he asked to enter number, but you are entering what? Number. Getting on. That is wrong. Okay, understand the problem first. Okay. Yes. So... Yes. Uh, now, what you have to do? You have to enter the number. Number equal to integer of. See here. Uh, see, some people input. Uh, enter. Enter any number. Okay, but input. Actually, input written which one? String. Input use. Input is read which type of value? String value. Using input, you can input only which value? String. Even though if I enter number 456, it is treated as string or not? Yes. Some some students, what they'll do is, they'll try to show their, they try to show their talent. 
and say print length of number. Print length of what? Number. But are you enter number or uh, string? Uh? Are you input number or uh, string? Uh? Input values number or uh, string? Uh? Come on here. Yeah. Is it input values a number or uh, string? Uh? String. Uh? It is not a number, right? Are you finding the length of a number or uh, string? Uh? Are you finding the length of number or string? String. But question is what? Find the num find the length of find the length of what? Number. Not a string. Not a string. Okay now. Uh, then what do you do it? Uh, convert this input value. Convert this input value. Yes. Convert this input value into which type? Integer type. Convert this input value into which type? Integer type. Then take the value of count. Uh, what is the value of count? Zero. What is the value of count? Zero. And then you'll say while okay number is greater than zero. While number is greater than zero, I'm saying number equal to number slash slash ten. Then I'll say count equal to count plus one. Uh, you can write this in shortcut also by saying number slash slash equal to or a number slash slash equal to what? 10. You can also write in shortcut. What is that? Count plus equal to 1. Which is nothing but count equal to count plus 1. Which is nothing but count is count plus 1. Okay, you are saying number is greater than 0. Now, let me debug this. Okay, what is the number I entered is 456. Uh, debugging is also very important. Okay, how you debug it? Just draw 1 table okay debugging values okay so this is how many variables are there in my program three variables are there uh, what is the first variable number what is the second variable count i think two variables are there one is a number and one more is what count uh, what is the value of number what is the value of number 456 what is the value of count zero okay uh, just to see, uh, 456 is greater than 0, yes. 456 is greater than 0. Uh, then number equal to, what you said here, number equal to, uh, number slash slash means 456 slash slash 10. It becomes what here? 45. What is the value of number has become here? 45. And count equal to count plus 1. It becomes what here? 1. Uh, then again, uh, 45 is greater than 0. Yes. Uh, then 45, uh, 45 slash slash 10. It becomes what here? 4. Then count is count plus 1 means it becomes 2. Uh, then is it 4 is greater than 0? Yes. Okay, 4 slash slash 10. Uh, 4 slash slash 10, it becomes 0. Okay, 4 slash slash 10 becomes what here? 0. And count is count plus 1 means it becomes what? 3. Okay, is it 0 is greater than 0? No. Condition is what here? False. If the condition is a false, it will come out of the loop. And print, I am just printing a length of, length of number is, length of number is, I just print what here? Count. Count of digits. This is nothing but what here? Count of digits. Count of digits. Uh, how many digits are there in a number? Three digits. Because I input three digit number. If you run this, if you run this, enter number. So five, six, eight, nine, three. So how many digits are there here? Five digits. How many digits are there here? Five digits are there. How many digits are there? Five digits. Okay. Uh, please just, please just try to understand here. Okay, so how you write this logic? Logic is very simple. Input one number, divide number until number becomes a zero. Count how many times number is divisible and then print what here? Count. See here. Repeat this until number is, until number becomes what here? Zero. Okay, now this logic work with any number or only positive numbers? Only positive numbers because I said number is greater than because I said number is greater than what? Zero. I said number is greater than zero. I am repeating again. Okay. How the logic? I am repeating again. Just listen. 
uh, please just listen simple logics only i have not taken very big logics okay so 467 is there okay what is the logic logic is very simple what is the logic is you are deleting each time one digit from a number you are deleting each time one digit from a number how can you delete the last digit from a number you can delete the last digit of a number by saying slash slash 10 so for 467 slash slash 10 467 slash slash 10 what is the result of this will be 47 okay then again sorry 46 okay 40, 467 slash slash 10 what is the result is 46 okay 467 slash slash 10 okay slash slash is called integer division actually 467 divided by no you cannot use for loop here you cannot use for loop here why we cannot use for loop because if you don't know how many times if you don't know how many times the loop has to be repeated if you don't know how many times the loop has to be repeated then you cannot you cannot you cannot use which one for loop okay if you don't know how many times the loop has to be repeated you cannot use for loop okay so then you have to come to which loop while loop how we will do for number like 058 actually 0528 is this is valid decimal or invalid invalid okay in the in the in the class actually you learn right okay now decimal number should not prefix with what zero decimal number should not prefix with what zero is it possible huh? is it possible giving prefix as a zero no is it this is valid decimal or invalid decimal invalid decimal decimal number should not prefix with what zero you cannot write like this zero five two eight is not valid number zero five two eight is what invalid number it is not a valid number it is invalid number can i write can i write here n equal to zero one twenty three immediately it is given error see here pankaj okay immediately it is given error what is this error syntax error leading zeros in decimal integer literal are not permitted any language not only this python any language java or c or c plus plus or any programming language a decimal integer never begin with what zero if you are trying to put a zero then immediately it gives which error syntax error okay na right just to see here 467 is a numerator and 10 is what here denominator how many times how many times here 46 times it will divisible okay 460 what is the remainder you'll get 7 okay then 46 dot 0 then you will say 7 and then you will say 70 remainder is 0 but what is the coefficient here 46.7 then 46.7 because of this is which division integer division it takes only which value 46 will it takes 0.7 here no it will take only 46 because it is which division integer division integer division no problem to 20345 no problem okay now 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 you get a 46 and 46 slash slash 10 what you'll get here 4 okay 4 slash slash 10 what you'll get here 0 how many times you are dividing here 3 times then what is the count here what is the count here 3 what is the count here 3 okay now this is the logic this is a logic for counting number of digits or finding length of a number okay 12,045 12,045 uh, what is the length of this number 5 what is the length of this number 5 okay uh, what is the man okay na uh, so what is the length of this number 5 okay so how to remove a digit last digit from a number come on how to remove the last digit from a number how to remove last digit from a number slash slash 
then uh, how to remove how to remove last digit from number okay how to remove last digit from number okay using okay using which division floor division that is slash and slash that is a logic what you have to apply here that is a logic what you have to apply here okay yes can you do this by using a for loop no you cannot do it using what here for loop you cannot do this by using which loop for loop now suppose you want to implement this you want to implement this using functions suppose you want to implement this using what here function function i want to implement this using a function okay how can i implement it using function i write a function here count digit what i have written here count digit and this will receive what here number this will receive the number okay a uh, number here i input the number number equal to integer of uh, enter enter what here number okay then c equal to count digit okay count digit count digit and giving input as what number input as a number okay <clears throat> input as a number okay now if number is if number is greater than 0 i declare okay yes i declare one global variable what is this global variable count and the value of count is a zero format count digit count digits i just get which value global value how can i change a global value by using global if number is greater than 0 then i'm saying count equal to count plus 1 count digit count digit number slash slash 10 uh, this is called which uh, call this is called as what this is called as what anyone this is called as what a uh, recursion this is called as what a recursion ha uh, recursion this is called as what here A recursion see i am telling you multiple approaches without using functions without using functions without using a loop without see by using a while loop and here without using a while loop without using a loop how can you solve a given problem by using what here a recursion without using a loop how can you solve the problem <coughs> by using what here a recursion by using a recursion i run this ah uh, enter a number ah uh, what is the number some 456 uh, uh, what is a what is the count of digits here 3 what is the count of digits here 3 3 okay you are accessing you are accessing which variable here global variable inside the function if you want to modify global key inside the function if you want to modify the global variable you try to modify it using which keyword global keyword inside the function if you want to modify the global variable you need to use which keyword global okay you are repeating this see you are calling the same function again and what you are doing here you are calling the same function again and again how many times until number is what greater than 0 see here i enter the number 123 ah so the number is given here what is the number here 123 Okay, one point three is greater than zero. Yes, count has become one. Ah, uh, again, it is calling count digits by sending one point three slash slash ten. One point three slash slash ten becomes what? Twelve. What is the number has become here? Twelve. Is it twelve is greater than zero? Yes, count has become what? Two. Okay, then again it will call the count digits. Okay, by sending a number, number twelve slash slash ten, it becomes what here? One. Ah, uh, what is the number here? One. Is it one is greater than zero? is it one is greater than zero yes the count has become what here three the count has become what here three okay uh, then then count digits one slash slash 10 it becomes what zero is it zero is greater than zero no is it recursion is stopped or not yes then what is the count becomes what here three the count is a three 
So different approaches are there. Different approaches here. Different approaches. I've used how many approaches here? Two approaches here. One is using while loop. See, see the problem here. One is using while loop and second one is without using. See here. These two problems, you compare it. You'll be knowing it. This is using while loop. This is without using. This is using while and this is without using while. Without using while means? Or without using while means? Recursion. Without using while means? Recursion. You are repeating this function. You are calling the same function again and again. How many times? Tell me here. You are calling the same function again and again. How many times? You are calling the same function and again and again. How many times? Until, until number is what? Greater than zero. Until number becomes zero. I said, no, this logic work only with which numbers? This logic work only with which numbers? Positive numbers. Because what is my condition? Number is greater than zero. What is my condition? Number is greater than zero. I want this should work with what? Negative also. Then you have to convert positive to what? Negative. You have to convert positive to negative. How you convert? By using a function called yes. Yes. Okay, now, right. Absolute function. You can take absolute function to convert that positive to negative. Yeah, please just try to understand. This is method one. And this is method two. Method one and method two. Sometimes, uh, sometimes they may ask you, okay, can you print one to ten numbers without using while loop? Can you print one to ten numbers without using while loop? Can you print one to ten numbers without using for loop? Whenever they ask this kind of questions, immediately you have to think about what? Immediately you have to think about what? Recursion. Immediately you have to think about what? Recursion only. Reshma, range 0, 11 means will it print a... Tell me here, Reshma. Ah, range 10, if you if you write... Are, come on here. If you write a range, hmm, range, range function will create range object. If you write 0, 11, if I say print R, will it print a... Reshma... Will it print or will it print or doesn't print? Will it print or doesn't print? It doesn't print, right? It just print a range only. But what I said, what is my question? I want to print one to ten numbers without using while or for. If the question is without using while or for, what do you have to do? Without using for and while means what do you have to do? You have to go for recursion. Recursion. Okay. Recursion, you have to use it. Recursion, you have to use it. Okay. I think this problem you understood. You understood this problem? Logic you understood? Huh? Come on, tell me here. Is it okay? Logic. Logic you understood? Okay, input number, divide number until number becomes zero. Okay, and divide number until number becomes zero. Count how many times number is divisible and print what? Count. That's it. Then same, same related problem. Recursion, I'll tell you. Suppose if you know recursion, then it is very good. I'll tell you recursion otherwise. I'll tell you, I'll tell you how the recursion works. Don't worry. In the next next problem, I'll explain recursion in detail. Okay, now. Uh, second logic. See the second one. Now, this is also related with what I've taken problems related with number sign digits. Problems related with number sign digits. I'll explain. I'll explain recursion. Don't worry. I'll explain the recursion with one beautiful example. Don't worry. Okay. Yes. Second, second one is write a program. Okay, write a program. 
write a program to print write a program to print sum of okay sum of digits sum of digits of input number write a program okay write a program to print sum of digits of input number i want to find the sum of digits now here we find the count of digits but now i want to find which one sum of digits sum of digits suppose the number is number is 123 the number is 123 that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 the result must be what here 6 the result must be what here 6 okay then first of all you should know how to read how to read a digit from number first of all you should know how to read a digit from a number again you are coming to the same pankaj again you are coming to the same convert integers to string then split it while adding again convert into word integer again you are coming to the same process what i said here what i am saying here okay okay see that is what you people always you are applying which operations see here always you are applying see here pankaj is saying convert integer to string why integer to string directly enter string only no pankaj why why integer to string you enter directly string directly you enter string only no why again integer to string ha huh? what here i should not think like that okay na ha huh? see sometimes those tools will be there no in hacker rank you write the code but that code will not work that code will not be submitted okay your code will not be submitted you may get error while submitting your code as yes sir no so that's the reason okay uh, so try to understand write a program to print sum of digits of input number so we are not manipulating strings right we are manipulating what we are not manipulating strings we are manipulating what numbers okay na yes this is not a correct way of solving it if this is a case then there are some more problems related with the digits okay na yes you don't want to write a logic then that is okay suppose you input string 123 what is 123 suppose 123 is a string okay s equal to 123 okay no logic no logic for x in s for x in s and then you you'll say some some variable you take a equal to 0 then immediately you'll say a plus equal to integer of integer of which one x over over or not uh, because is it number or string are you manipulating number or string is it number or string 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 manipulation but you are not manipulating numbers but what i am talking about is manipulation of manipulation of what numbers not a strings manipulation of numbers but not a strings <coughs> now how to read a digit from a number my question is how to read digit from a number you always read see how to read a digit from a number you read a digit from a number by using mod operator number mod 10 number mod 10 what is a number 123 mod 10 what is a remainder i'll get 3 how can you read a digit from a number mod 10 how can you read a digit from a number mod 10 last digit of a number is mod 10 how can you remove the last digit of a number how can you remove the last digit of a number 
slash slash 10. What is the number becomes here? 12. Then how can you read the last digit of a number? Mod 10. What is the value I get? 2. How can I remove the last digit of a number? Slash slash 10. Okay. What will I get? 1. How can I read the last digit of a number? Mod 10. What is the number I'll get? Okay. 1. Remainder is 1. How can I remove that last digit of a number? Number slash slash 10. What number becomes what here? 0. So what is the logic? What is the logic? Uh, tell me, what is the logic? Tell me the logic. What is the logic? Input. Uh, input what here? Number. Uh, input number. Second step is? The second step is what? Divide. Uh, divide number until number becomes uh, until number becomes uh, zero. Divide number until number becomes uh, zero. But you are dividing it. Okay, dividing it using how many operators? Uh, two operators. One is uh, one is which one? Percentage. This is called which operator? Modulo operator or modulus operator. And you are using one more operator. What is that operator? Slash slash. Which is called as which division? Integer division. So why I am using a modulo operator to get the last, last digit? Last digit is nothing but here reminder. Okay, this is reading the last digit. And this is for removing last digit. Removing last digit. And removing last digit. Uh, that is nothing but you get quotient. Removing last digit is nothing but you get what? Quotient. Okay, this is a logic. This is a logic. This is a logic for reading digit from a number and removing digit from a number. Reading is done using percentage 10 and removing is done using slash slash 10. A reading is done using percentage 10. Okay, percentage 10 and slash slash is used for removing digit. Okay, yes. You need to store in one variable and add it. You need to store in one variable and then add it. I should store in one variable and then add it. Okay, yes. Uh, what do you have to do? Uh, write a code here. Okay, write a code here. So input one number. Integer of input. So enter any number. You have to input one number. Enter any number. Uh, after giving number, what do you have to do? Uh, what do you have to do? Uh, so what do you have to print? Sum of digits. What do you have to print? Sum of digits. Sum uh, equal to zero. Okay, sum equal to what here? Zero. Sum equal to zero. Sum equal to zero. Okay. Uh, while number is greater than zero. While number is greater than zero. Okay. While number is greater than zero. Uh, after that, you are saying reminder. Reminder is nothing but digit. Number mod 10. Sum equal to sum plus. Sum equal to sum plus. Reminder. Sum equal to sum plus. Reminder. Number equal to number. Slash slash 10. Number equal to number. Slash slash 10. Then print. Format. So here sum of. Sum of digits. Sum of digits, I print S. Sum of digits, I print what here? S. Okay, now evaluate it. How you evaluate it? Like this. How many variables are there? First, you take those variables. Okay. So, you have number of variables here. Okay, so there is a variable called number. 
there's a variable called sum. There is a variable called a reminder. Okay. Suppose my number is 1.3. My number is 1.3. Is it 1.3 is greater than 0? Yes. Then 1.3 mod 10. What is the remainder? 3. And sum equal to sum plus remainder is what is the sum here? 0, right? So 0 plus 3, it becomes what here? 3. And number equal to number slash slash 10. Means 123 slash slash 10 becomes what? 12. Uh, is it 12 is greater than 0? Yes. Then 12 mod 10. What is the remainder? 2. Then sum equal to sum plus r. Means 3 plus 2 becomes what here? 5. Then number equal to number slash slash 10. Is nothing but 12 slash slash 10. It becomes 1. Is it 1 is greater than 0? Yes. 1 mod 10. What is the remainder? 1. And then you are saying sum equal to sum plus r. That is nothing but 5 plus 1. What is the value? It becomes 6. And number is number slash slash 10. It becomes what? 0. Because 1 slash slash 10 becomes what? 0. Is it 0 is greater than 0? No. Condition is a false. Come out of the loop. And sum of digits, you are printing which one? Sum. And what is the sum here? 6. What is the sum here? 6. Now 1 plus 2 plus 3. 1 plus 2 plus 3. What is the result here? 6. You are dividing a number. See, this, this is for reading the digit. Last digit. You are reading the last digit. And this is for removing last digit. This is reading the last digit. And this is removing the last digit. How you are reading the last digit? Mod 10. How you are removing the last digit slash slash 10. That's all. You do this until number becomes what? Zero. Until number becomes a zero. Once you run this, my number is 123. Now sum of digits is what here? Six. Sum of digits is what here? Six. Okay. Yes. Very simple logic, but you have to understand. Usage of mod operator and uses of floor division. Usage of mod operator and usage of which division? Floor division. See here. First one is, okay, first one is count of digits. And second one is, second one is what? Sum of digits. First one is count of digits. Second one is sum of digits. Third one is, now just see one more problem. So problem number three with the digits only. I am telling you all the problems related with the numbers and digits. So write a program. Write a program to count. Write a program to count. Okay, even and odd digits. Odd digits in input number. Write a program to count even and odd digits in input number. Even and odd digits in input number. Uh, suppose I input number 5. 89, 589 is there. Uh, in this, how many even digits are there? How many even digits are there? One. Okay, which one is even digit here? Eight. And how many odd digits are there? Two. How many even digits are there? One. How many odd digits are there? Two. Now, you have to count that. Number of even digits and number of odd digits. Now, now you, you write the code and put in chart window. Okay, you write the code and put in chart window. You write complete. Don't put one by one step. Okay, write complete and put in chart window. Okay, logic is the same. Logic is the same. Uh, what do you have to do? Where you get this notes means my telegram. From my telegram. Okay, this is my telegram ID code with... Uh, this is my telegram ID. I'll be uploading in this telegram ID. Okay. See, don't put one one message here. Complete the code and put it at once. Amit. Amit, complete the code and put at once. Are Why you are putting one one here? Complete the code and put in. Complete the message. Write complete message and submit. 
Yes, I lost them. I lost them. I lost them to give the recordings. Don't worry. I lost them to give the recordings. Possible. Are don't put one one message here. Are you write the complete code and then put. Are when is the code and submit? When is the code? Then you have to submit here. Why you are writing one one statement? If you write one statement, how can you understand? If you write one are again. You people are doing same thing here. Ah, like this. Write and submit means like this you have to do it. First you write, write complete thing and then submit. Ah, yes. This is your logic only or copied somewhere. <laughs> you write the logic or copied a write, written a, okay. Ah, no problem. Don't copy from anywhere, okay. Yes, very good. If it is your logic, it is very good. Okay, now. Hmm. Okay. Ah, now see it. See otherwise. See otherwise. Ah, uh, please see here. Please see. Please see. Uh, uh, same logic here. Uh, number. Integer of input enter. Enter any number. Enter any number. Enter any number. Okay. Now, even number count. You have to take even number count. You have to take odd number count. So, what is even number count? Zero. What is odd number count? Zero. Even number count? Zero. Odd number count is also zero. Even number count is zero. Odd number count is also zero. Okay. Then next is while number is greater than zero. Every time read one digit. Even digit count or digit count? Okay, no problem. Okay, now. Nah? Ah, so, digit. Every time you get one digit. Digit is nothing but. Ah, every time. How you get the digit? Mod 10. If uh, digit is mod 2 equal to 0. This is which number? Even number. Then even count plus equal to 1. Else, uh, odd count plus equal to 1. Then you'll say. You'll say number. Equal to number slash slash 10. Same logic. Okay. You are reading each time one digit. And you are finding. Is it that digit is even number or odd number. If the digit is even number. Even count plus 1. If the digit is odd number. Odd number count plus 1. And then read the next digit. Read the next digit. Okay. Delete the digit. How you delete the digit? Number slash slash 10. That is removing one digit. Okay, then print. What do you print? What do you print? Format. Even digit count. Even digit count. Uh, what is this even digit count? EC. And print format. Odd digit count. Odd digits count. Okay, that is OC. Even digits count. And one more is what? Odd digits count. Even digit and one more is what here? Order digit. Suppose if the number is some 13 is there or some two digit number I'll take. What is the number 3, 4? Ah, is it 34 is greater than 0? Yes. Then 34 mod 10. What is the remainder? 4. Ah, 4 mod 2 is it uh, remainder is 0 or not? 
Yes. Then what is the even count? One. Then number equal to number slash slash 10 is nothing but 34 slash slash 10. It becomes what here? 3. Ah, is it 3 is greater than 0? Yes. And 3 mod 10, what is the remainder? 3. And 3 mod 2, is it remainder equal to 0? No. Then it is which number? Odd number. And what is the odd number count? 1. Then you are printing. Number is number slash slash 10. That is 3 slash slash 10. It becomes what here? 0. Ah, is it 0 is greater than 0? No. Condition is what here? False. Then what is the even count? 1. What is the odd count? 1. Even count is 1. Odd count is 1. Okay. Yes. Then I run this code. Enter any number. 4, 5, 7, 8. 4, 5, 7, 8. How many even numbers are there? 2. Even digits are 2. Odd digits are what here? 2. Even digits are 2 and odd digits are 2. 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. Uh, how many even digits are there? 2, 4, 6. And how many odd digits are there? 2. 1 is 1 and 1 more is what? 3. 1 is 1 and 1 more is a 3. So that is how you are writing even digit counts and odd digit count. Okay, so these logics belongs to the numbers and their digits. Numbers and their digits. Problems related with numbers and digits. Numbers and digits. For example, okay, numbers and digits. For example, now this is a fourth one. Okay, this is a fourth one. Uh, write a program. Okay, write a, uh, see here, I think you know this. Write a program to find a input number is, input number is Armstrong number or not. Armstrong number, Armstrong number or not. Armstrong number or not. Okay, I want to write a program to find a input number is Armstrong number or not. So what is an Armstrong number? Come on, anyone? What is an Armstrong number? I didn't ask it a number here. What is the meaning of Armstrong number? Array 153 is Armstrong number only. Reverse is same. Array a month. What year? <laughs> no, 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 no. Array. Not like that here. Array. Armstrong number means reverse. No, no, no. I want Armstrong number. Uh, 121 is an Armstrong number. Huh? Okay. 370, 371, 153, all these are Armstrong number. That is only for three digit numbers, right? That is only for which numbers? Uh, three digit numbers. That is for three digit number, right? Okay, that is for which number? Three digit number. Are come on, yeah. What is the Armstrong number is? Okay, the number. Are listen, listen, listen first. Uh, Array. Listen, my definition first, uh, you keep on giving answers uh, equal to the sum of digits of cube. Cube, always cube only. No, suppose I'm strong number should be a positive number. Okay, sum of digits to the power of length of a number. Sum of digits to the power. Sum of digits to the power. Sum of digits, I'm saying 153. What is the length of this number? Tell me here. What is the length of this number? What is the length of this number? 3, right? Then 1 to the power of 3, pi to the power of 3, 3 to the power of 3. Okay. Suppose if I take 1, 2, 3, 4, 1,234, how can you find this Armstrong number or not? How can you find out this Armstrong number or not? Will you say 1 to the power of 3 only? No. 1 to the power of 4 plus. Uh, 2 to the power of 4 plus. Uh, 3 to the power of 4 plus. 4 to the power of 4. If the sum is equal to which number? Uh, original number. Then it is called as which number? Armstrong number. If it is equal to original number, it is called as Armstrong number. If the number is 
45. Now, then what is the length of this number? 2. 4 to the power of 2 plus 5 to the power of 2. If the sum is equal to which number? Original number. Then it is called as which number? Armstrong number. Yes. Okay, now. So what is an Armstrong number? Definition is what? Uh, tell me, what is an Armstrong number? What is the definition now? All digits are? All one digits are Armstrong numbers. Okay. Yes. Sum of digits to the power. Sum of, see here, digits to the power of length of a number. Digits to the power of length of the number. Digits. Digit to the power of length of a number. Sum of, sum of digits to the power of length of a number is equal to which one? Original number. Original number. That you call it as which one? Armstrong number. That number is called as an Armstrong number. Okay. Sum of digits to the length of number. Uh, individuals of power of length of sum equal to original number. That you call it as Armstrong number. So write a program to find input number is Armstrong number or not. Uh, then what do you do first now? What is the logic? Tell me what is the logic? Input. Uh, what should I input? Uh, number. Input the number. Okay. Input the number. Logic is the same or not? Yes. Logic is the same. Logic is the same. Okay. What is an Armstrong number is? Okay. Sum of. Okay. Sum of. Sum of. Digits. Okay. Sum of digits to the power of. Length. Of number. Is equal to. Is equal to. Is equal to. Original number is called Armstrong number. Okay, it's called Armstrong number. Okay, so if you understand this definition is okay. Sum of individual, otherwise, sum of, sum of individual individual digits sum of individual digits to the power power of length length of number is equal to is equal to which number original number then it is called as which number and strong number but most of the times you find for three digit number okay suppose if it is a three digit number suppose 153 is there. Okay, 153 means 1 to the power of 3 plus, okay, 5 to the power of 3, okay, plus, okay, 5 to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of, okay, 3 to the power of which one? 3. So, this sum is what here? Uh, 1 to the power of 3 is 1, 5 to the power of 3 is 125, 3 to the power of 3 is at 27, which is equal to 153. Is it 153 is equal to 153? Yes. This is called Armstrong number. This logic is only for three digit number. The logic which I am writing is only for three digit number. Any means you have to find the length first. Any means you have to find the length first. Okay. Any means you have to find the length first. Uh, just to see here. Uh, so, I am finding for three digit number. Okay. So, this logic only for three digit number. Input. Enter any number. Enter any number. You are trying to input any number. You are trying to input any number. Enter any number. After entering the number, this number you are putting inside another variable. Why you are, you are assigning this number to another variable? 
by saying number one equal to what here? Number. Number one equal to number. Means number is assigned to number one. Why you assign number to number one? Because when you divide a number until yes, when you divide a number with a 10, after execution of while loop, the number becomes what? Zero. After execution of while loop, your number becomes what? Zero. Because of that, this number is assigned to which variable? Number one. Uh, then you are writing the logic file. Number is greater than zero. Uh, now this is a sum. Okay, read each time one digit. <laughs> number mod 10. Then sum equal to sum plus uh, digit. Okay, digit to the power of 3. Power of 3 means I am finding. I am finding for which number? Uh, 3 digit number. I am finding for which number? Uh, 3 digit number. I am finding for which number? Uh, 3 digit number only. Okay, length of a number is 3. Uh, then number equal to number slash slash 10. Number equal to number slash slash 10. If sum double equal to number 1, then you are saying format. This number 1 is uh, which number? I am strong number. This number 1 is I am strong number. Otherwise, you are saying print format. Number 1 is not uh, which number? I am strong number. It is not an I am strong number. I am strong number, not an I am strong number. Number. When you run this, 153 is which number? I am strong number. If I enter any other number, 123 is not an I am strong number. Okay. So what you are doing? Hmm. What is the number I have taken here? 153. What is the number? 1634 doesn't work. No. Shivaji. Shivaji, 1634, it doesn't work. 1634 means, how you, how you find this? Shivaji, how you find this? 1 to the power of 4. Uh, in the place of 3, you have to use 4. Okay, na? But this logic is for 3 digit or 4 digit? This logic is for 3 digit or 4 digit? 3 digit only. Okay, na? So don't check with the 4 digit. Don't check with the four digit. You have to check with the two, two digit only. Not with the four digit. Two digit only. Okay. Now I try to run this. What is the value I enter? 370. Now 370 is which number? I'm strong number. It is only for three digit. How to find the length of a number? Shall we use length of number? No. Length is work with string, not with the number. We know. Length doesn't work with the string. Uh, length work with the string. Doesn't work with the number. Then what do you do? You write logic for finding the number length. I said count of digits, right? That is nothing but finding the length of a number. Okay? Yes. Uh, this is a logic for finding... A given number is an I am strong number or not. I am strong number or not. See here. This is a logic for I am strong. Uh, this is what? Uh, how to find I am strong number or not? Okay. Chandu. Okay. Na? This is what is an I am strong number or not. Next. Uh, now same fifth one. Okay. What we are talking about is. Problems related with the numbers and what uh, digits. Uh, you want to find a given number is Armstrong number or not for which number? A four digit number. Uh? Yeah, you can convert into a length uh, string and find the length. Yes, you can do like that. Okay. Now next. Actually, that approach is wrong. Okay, now. That approach is wrong. Because you have to count the length of a number, right? You have to count the length of a number. Okay? That approach is actually wrong. Whenever you convert string, right? So there will be a problem. Okay? 
Yes. Yes, yes. Code lengths increase, but that approach is wrong approach, right? Because you are not manipulating num, you are not manipulating strings. Here. You are manipulating what numbers? Okay, now, <laughs> Pankaj. Okay, now, yes. Yeah, that will increase your code. No problem. Yeah, you can write. Yes, you can write like this by converting into a string uh, d to the power of length of string of number. Yes, no problem. Okay. Uh, now, next logic is, okay, now suppose I want to write, see, that is what? Whenever you talk about Python, right? Whenever you say Python, always you look for what? Easy. You can say, no, Python is what? Uh, easy. Python is easy, right? Why? Because if any question is asked on numbers, you try to do everything using what string? Because string supports indexing, slicing, reversing, everything becomes what? Easy. Yes or no? But when you are submitting the code, I'm saying no, when you are submitting the code in online platforms, your code will not be accepted. Uh, getting or not, your code will not be accepted those test cases will get fail test cases get fail because you are manipulating everything on what string everything you are manipulating on string then is, is it your code will pass or fail fail your code will fail your code will not pass your code will fail now suppose you are saying punkers you are saying Fibonacci series right Fibonacci series, you can do it by using strings, right? String, it becomes very easy, <laughs> right? And so you should not do it by using that, right? That logic is not preferable always. Okay, no? right. So if they're asking numbers, then you have to do only on. If they're asking about numbers, you have to do only on numbers, but don't do on strings. Okay, no? right, please. Follow that, otherwise you face a problem. Otherwise you face a problem. Okay. Okay. Uh, now let me tell you another one. Same. Related with the numbers and uh, digits. Okay. Yeah. Sumit. Very good. Appreciate. Appreciated. Very good. Sumit. Very good. Appreciated. See here. This is how you have to count first. Count. See here. Count how many digits are there. Count it. Then uh, B equal to B plus. A to the power of count. This is appreciated. But you have to take. Again, you have to say what do you have to say here? Number 1 becomes 0 here. Okay, number 1 becomes 0. Okay, number 1 becomes 0. Again, you have to take number 1 equal to number. Here again, you have to take number 1 equal to number. Okay? Yes. Appreciated your work. Okay? Yes, very good. Very good, Vijay. Right. Can you explain hacker rank problem? Huh? Yes, I'll explain it. Don't worry. I'll explain. We have a time, right? Now, we'll take each each day one topic. But today, I've taken the topic of which one? Numbers and digits. Okay, numbers and digits. Okay? Yes. So, here, again, you have to say, I said number one equal to number. Again, I say number one equal to number because you are trying to divide with number one, right? That's the reason. Okay? Pankaj. Okay? Yes. After the loop, number one becomes what? Zero. 
after the loop number 1 becomes a zero okay yes next uh, fifth problem we'll see uh, what is the fifth problem is here is uh, fifth problem we'll see that is same same logic now write a program write a program to reverse reverse number write a program to reverse number see again i say number 123 what is the reverse of 123 321 what is the reverse of 123 321 same logic okay don't see if you want to reverse the string simple 123 string right 123 is a string very simple uh, you will just say colon colon minus 1 if I say colon colon minus 1, I'll get what? 321 over. <laughs> huh? Yes or no? Colon colon minus 1 over. Is it reverse a number or string? If it's reverse a number or string? Number or string? String. Not number. Array. String here. It is not reverse a number. It is reverse which one? String. Not a number. It is reverse a string. Getting or not? Okay, so, but logic is, I said reverse what? Number. So, that's the reason you people, some some students, they will not improve their logics. Why they are not improve logics? Because of, because of all these problems. Everything, they'll convert into a string because indexing and slicing. <laughs> okay. Indexing and what? Slicing. Suppose S yes is there. Okay, I said write, write how many event digits and out digits. Then what you can do? Uh, you read each time one. Each time you read one character from string. And then you'll write a code. If uh, integer of this character mod uh, 2 double equal to which one? 0. Then it is which number? Uh, even number. Uh, else... Uh, Okay, else you'll say it is which number, which digit, uh, or a digit. Yes or no? But what you are doing, you are iterating what? Can you iterate number? Huh? Tell me, can you iterate number? Huh? Can you iterate number? Can you give number to the for loop? Can you give the number to the for loop? No. You cannot give the number to the for loop. Which one you can give it to the for loop? Which one will you give it to the for loop? Collection. Iterables. Iterables only, right? Only iterables can be given to the for loop. Okay. That is what you are doing it. Okay. Now, but this is not a logic related with the strings. This is related with strings, but not related with the numbers. Not related with the numbers. So all the things will not work with this kind of logics. Remember that first. Okay. If your code is not submitted, you will face a lot of issues. Then you will start thinking, where is my code? Uh, where is my logic is missing? That's the reason it is always recommended. If they are asking numbers, you have to manipulate it by using numbers only. You have to manipulate it using numbers only. Okay, na? Right. So, reverse number. Reverse number means same logic. Okay, what is the logic? What is the logic is first uh, input number. Input number. Okay, same. Divide number. Divide number. Divide number until until number. Until number becomes until number becomes what? Zero. I'll tell you problems related with strings. Don't worry, I'll tell you problems related with the strings because I'm, I've am i just taken the problems related with the numbers. Okay, in the coming sessions, I'll take the problems related with strings. In the coming session, I'll take the problems related with the arrays. Arrays, arrays is nothing but list. Don't worry, we'll have a different problems on different topics. Okay, now, don't worry about that. Okay, but we are learning everything step by step. Yes, I'll give you some homework. Don't worry. Okay.
So write a program to reverse a number. Divide a number until number becomes zero. Using how many operators? Two operators. One is percentage and one more is what here? Slash slash. One is percentage and one more is what? Slash slash. Okay. Yes. Uh, today I'll upload the notes in the telegram. Don't worry. See, daily I'll take one topic. Today I just take in the topic of how to extract the digits from a number. Today's topic is number and digits. How to manipulate the digits. Suppose sometimes I ask you, okay, just print a product of number. Okay, product of digits of input number. Sum of digits of input number. Okay, count even digits and odd digits. Count how many zeros are there in digit. Count how many zeros are there in digit. Okay, now see here. Okay, suppose morning, morning one student. See here, morning one student asked one. This is a question which is asked in interview. I asked her to send a mail. Okay, just see. Just see what kind of problems they'll ask. Okay. Don't think that interview is very easy, right? Okay, see here. It's a serious one one problem, one problem, okay. One problem, okay. Will one problem will settle your life. Okay. <laughs> okay, if you do one program, your life will get settled. But student is not able to write that one program. See, here, this is one uh, question asked. This is one question is asked here. Okay, see here how the question is. Today morning only she asked. What is the question? See here. Joseph is learning digital logic subject which will be which will be for his next semester. He usually tries to solve unit assignment problem before the lecture. Today he got one tricky question. One tricky question. The problem statement is a positive integer has been given as an input. A positive integer is given, has given as an input. Convert decimal value to binary representation and toggle all bits of it uh, after the most uh, significant bit, uh, including the most uh, significant bit, uh, print the positive integer value after toggling all bits. Example, now this is a constraint. N value should be greater than or equal to 1, less than or equal to 10. Example, input is what? 10. What is the binary equivalent of 10? 1, 0, 1, 0. What do you have to do? Toggle all bits. Uh, Including which one most significant bit, okay? Including that also. Toggle, toggle means now what is saying is okay, this is a output XOR. Mm, now, what is the output here? Uh, what is the sorry, what output is asking? The output is asking like this 10 is 1010. After toggle, it should be what 01. 0, 1. Okay, 0, 1, 0, 1 means 1, 0, 1 becomes what here? 5. 1, 0, 1 becomes what here? 5. 1, 0, 1 becomes what here? 5. How you apply XR here, Reshma? How you apply XR? How you apply XR? How you apply XR? Will you apply XR? XOR is a binary operator or unary operator? <laughs> huh? XOR is a binary or unary? No, no. Uh, negation you have to go for. Which is nothing but which operator? Or which operator? Negation operator is what? Tilde. Which is nothing but uh, tilde operator. Not XOR operator. Uh, yes. Uh, these kind of questions here, you might think that it is very easy. See, if you write this exam, if you write this exam, okay, if you solve this problem, now job is ready. Yes or no? Uh, this simple problem, some students, they are unable to write it.
the simple problem they are unable to write it <coughs> sign bit it is nothing but which bit sign bit sign bit osher three sign bit okay sign bit msb is which one sign bit okay now right uh, now 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 i am giving some questions here okay I am giving questions here. Write a program. Otherwise, I am giving some questions here. Write a program to reverse number. Write a program to find a input number is palindrome or not. Uh, then seventh program. Now you have to do these programs. Uh, write a program to find a input number is input number is uh, signed integer. Yes. So write a program to find input number is perfect number or not. Perfect number or not. Okay. Uh, eighth one is don't uh, look in a chart GBD, right? Write a program to find uh, input number is which number? Uh, magic number or not. Magic number or not. Uh, palindrome. Okay. So input number is palindrome. Palindrome or not, okay. Input number is palindrome or not, okay. Uh, what is a magic number? You have to find out that, <laughs> okay. What is a magic number? You have to find out that, okay. I just given a question. Uh, what is a program to find input number is perfect number or not? Input number is a magic number or not? Input number is a palindrome or not, okay. Uh, write a program to reverse a number. So four problems I have given. Four problems I have given. And this note, sir, I'll upload in my telegram, please. Okay, I'll upload this in telegram. Okay. And solve these problems. Okay, let me discuss about these problems. Where will you submit me? Send to my mail ID. Send to my mail ID. Send to my mail ID. Okay, interview questions also will solve. Second highest digit from number. Okay, no problem. Second highest digit from a number. Sort it. Sort a digit. Sort the digit. Sort digit. Sort digit. Okay, now sort number. You sort number. Pankaj. Sort digits of number. You read each time one digit from number. Okay, add that digit into a list. Sort it and print highest digit. Okay, yes. I'll send notes in my telegram. So time complexity, encryption and decryption time. Okay, delay and computation cost. For all this finding using Python, we should use Matplotlib, sir. Is it that? See, Matplot, Matplotlib is for data visualization. Data visualization. But why you are asking encryption, decryption and all these things? That is not related with that, right? Okay. Not in Google Classroom, in my Telegram. No, Matplotlib is not for that. Okay, who said? Okay, you are saying, uh, okay, you are asking your paper, uh, okay. So efficiency, you may display in the form of charts or graph, then you might use it, okay. Efficiency, time complexity, if you want to display in the form of graph, then you are trying to use that, okay, na? right. Sir, will you cover the time complexity? We'll see, we'll see time complexity, right. This is my telegram ID. This is my telegram ID. This is my telegram ID. I don't have telegram. Install telegram app. Install telegram app and join. Okay. Install the telegram app and join. Okay. Install the telegram app and then join. Okay. Uh, 
I ask question, Abhijit. Everyone in Telegram. I thank you. Okay. No problem. Thank you. Yeah, yesterday's class also I'll upload. Any any technical, any pressure level, all these questions are asked. Any technical, any technical, any technical exam, these questions are asked. Any technical exam or any software job, these questions are asked. Any software job at fresher level, all these questions are asked. You are a Python or Java or anything. You need to know logical building. Six years means your experience. Six years means your experience. You are not a fresher, right? When NumPy and Pandas will be started, once it's started, I'll put in my telegram. Okay, now? Yes. If possible, I'll tell you. Yeah, data and maybe data science people, they may ask. They may ask. Okay. 